Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have had some very interesting leaks released about FC25 in the last day, and we need to discuss what these leaks mean. Not just because, oh, a player SBC has been leaked, but there are some leaks relating to the new season that is going to be starting in a couple of days, and there's also some things that we can read between the lines and decipher a little bit of extra information on about what's going to be happening soon and how it's going to impact this game in a big way way on the market especially and with the new season pass that is going to be coming out so we have to do a little bit of that digging today but also take a look at the big player sbcs that have been leaked and take those at the face value that they are but also the market guys how is this upcoming stuff going to affect the market that is already down is it going to make it go lower but is there opportunities to trade in the market? As you see, I've, I'm have i basically broke right now. I'm flipping some cards, trying to make some coins because the market on some cards has seemingly bottomed out. We're going to talk about that and what to expect today on a Tuesday in FC25. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's Monday content as we do with objectives. Guys, I love these One Nation Cups. I really do because they're so easy to get done because golden goal is prevalent yesterday i got almost all the games done we're going to open these packs today on the stream that links down below in the description if you haven't checked this out there we're going to open these packs because they are good 84 double 81 double 83 double 82 3 81 3 and then of course the 83 5 honestly this took me all nine wins with scoring the goals playing some complete games and plenty of golden goal victories and also giving away some golden goal wins when the other opponent scored first uh this probably took me an hour to get it done and fly through it so again Again, these are elo based it's not based on your division you go in with a one nation team probably a lot of Fr uh, france squads you're going to see a lot of spain squads i saw a couple of brazil saw a german squad that was interesting it's just a fun way to play the cup and it's really easy to get some good packs now i will mention you might have a couple of cards in your club that are up a lot like this Konate card because yesterday he went from like a thousand coins up to 2.8k there are some like lower budget cheap cards like that from the popular nations that are rising just because people are going and building out some squads with those players to do that objective so I think that objective is a must and golden goal is also a thing that you're going to experience a lot of and that's pretty nice now let's go to the SBC section where the other content was yesterday 78 double upgrade was released I don't know man I mean upgrade packs these have not seemed super worth it all year long sure they've been decent i did a set of 10 of these yesterday didn't get anything higher than an 83 yeah upgrade packs this year have not been a high point i think the league sbcs are honestly better than this and i would rather do a regular gold upgrade over the 78 double after doing a few of these in my opinion that's what i would do but try these if you want to do them it maybe can clear out some cards from your club or from your duplicate storage if you have some random rares in there that's a good place to be putting these the player sbcs yesterday also brought some interesting twists to this game we had the first showdown of fc 25 released i wasn't expecting it to be this early but EA wants to give us plenty of time to do five squads for both Ugarte and Caicedo. I'll be honest, before this year, I don't think I'd ever seen a five squad SBC only cost 45,000 coins. That is how much each of these costs. It's three, sorry, it's 180 rated squad, two 81s, and then two, an 82 and an 83. It's really cheap to get done. It's just annoying that it's five squads. And especially for the cards that you're getting, they're not that great, but of course, with showdowns, if you haven't witnessed these before, it is a plus one for the team that, if there's a draw, it's a plus one to both cards if there's a draw, and a plus two for the winner. If United wins, Ugarte will get a plus two. If Caicedo wins and Chelsea win, he'll get a plus two. So that's how these cards work. First time we've seen these cards this year overall, and the upgrades from their uh, base cards are decent, but the stats overall don't look that crazy. The one thing that I do like from these is the play styles. EA has given the, each of these cards some really nice play styles. Anticipate, intercept, Tiki Taka, pinged pass, press proven relentless, and slide tackle for this Kaiseto card with deep lying playmaker plus plus for 40,000 coins or basically using untradeable fodder in the club. Either of these cards is decent for the price because it is super duper cheap and not to mention you have the upgrade potential in there and also on top of that especially when it comes down to these cards even though they may not be game breaking or super crazy it's fun to have some you know like a skin in the game if you will if you're not a united fan or not a chelsea fan but you're going to watch this game this upcoming weekend right interesting stories for united after sacking ten hog you've got chelsea who have been kind of playing better definitely playing better with cold palmer it's going to be an interesting game for sure, right? So a lot of people are doing Caicedo because of that. But one thing to think about with these cards is 
evolution potential. Remember last year, some of our favorite evolutions were where we could upgrade these showdown cards. That's something to kind of watch out for when you're completing these, and it might actually be worth upgrading or completing both of these, regardless of whoever gets upgraded, just because they're super cheap to do. And you could be putting them in evos here before you know it. 84 rated with pretty well-rounded stats. You never know. So those are decent SPCs. I know they're not game-breaking. They're insane. But I think it's worth mentioning that those are solid. And if you have some 81s and 2s that you want to clear out, those are good SPCs for that. Now, we did have the hero pack that refreshed yesterday as well. This actually refreshed an hour earlier than content drop, right? 6 p.m. UK right now is 2 p.m. Eastern time, which is my time zone. So times are a little bit off. And this SBC released or refreshed at 5 p.m. UK yesterday. Um, and that was just because it was released last week before the clocks had changed in Europe. But this SBC just made fodder go even higher, guys. That is what the case of the market is right now because of the SBC. 86s are 14,000 coins. A number of 86s are actually extinct on the market because their price ranges were maxed at 12k. 85s yesterday. We talked about buying 85s at 6k even last night. Yesterday's video, 6.4k. They are now 8k. They were 8.5k. This Opendo is 8.5k. That is insane these cards are going up so much 87s are 17,000 coins 87s are going up so high that 88s are starting to push up because 87s are the prices that 88s were and now these cards are 20,000 coins 89s are even starting to go up it's having this crazy chain effect on the market where all the fodder is starting to go up because of these 86s and just all of the demand that is out there right now but i think because of these 86s being almost extinct on the market for a lot of these cards. It's pushing 87s up, which is pushing 88s up. And even some of like the fodder 86s for these cards that haven't risen in price in a while, this Arsenal women's CDM has been 12K this whole time. And then she's been spiking to 14, 15K because she's one of the cheapest 86s on the game, which is crazy. Now, a lot of you guys are asking me, Nate, when do I sell my fodder? Well, Here's my take on this. The Icon Pack, I miss said this in yesterday's video. This SBC does not refresh on Wednesday. It refreshes on Thursday, which brings an interesting timing aspect into things because on Thursday, you also have Division Rivals Rewards, which is going to bring supply to the market. We pull up a graph from an 86 from last week. This Unai Simon went from 9.6K after Wednesday's content release. He went up, right, from eight, nine lows 8.9k up all the way to 9.6 and then of course with division rivals rewards he goes all the way back down to 8k and then bounces back up a little bit if you want to take the safe route you can sell your fodder before rivals we may have another upgrade pack or some sort of pack maybe that party bag leak coming on a wednesday that could be happening and then fodder could go up a little bit more before it drops if you want to hold on strong though on thursday once again with the icon pack refreshing that is probably going to make this 84 to 88 rated fodder move upwards in price once again so if you want to sell it before rivals rewards and that supply you can do that or you can hold on and sell on thursday my best advice would be sell it before Rivals Rewards, and then you can invest for the Rivals Rewards market rise, which we would expect to happen on a lot of the market this week once again, and maybe it's a double dip trading scenario. So I know you've got, a lot of you guys are making tons of coins right now on fodder. You absolutely love to see it, but that's kind of the situation that we're looking at with those cards right now. Of course, the other biggest news from yesterday is the Ballon d'Or, and this was a pretty cool tweet, so I wanted to show it. Rodri with the Ballon d'Or. Imagine if we got cards for this. That'd be super duper sick. A lot of controversy of course around Rodri winning it you've got Bonmati winning the women's Ballon d'Or and then um, Yamal won the Copa trophy that was pretty sick as well so I mean there's not going to be any cards released because of this this is just a concept but I thought this tweet was cool to show just because I mean that would be some cold dynamic images if they were to actually release cards for this now let's talk about the market a little bit guys because yesterday of course that was the main talking point as prices everywhere were crashing and you know what some prices went up yesterday some went down further prices that went up Gabriel, he was like 400,000 coins last night, uh, Sunday night, kind of at the end of foot champs, went up to about 450 where he is now. Same thing with Bonmati, she is up. Kavadid Skelly is up a little bit. I think Hemp is up, Bastoni up a little bit too. But if you look at a lot of the rest of the market, it continued to drop during the day on Monday, got really low at the Monday content drop time with the hero pack as well. And then it's kind of been sliding back up. We're looking at the index icon right now, just because if you look at the index 100, it gives you kind of an inaccurate reading because fodder right fodder is going up 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 
and that's taken this index up. The index icon is kind of more accurate for like the more meta cards that a lot of people are putting into their teams. So a lot of price crafts yesterday looked like this. I mean, Militao is low. 159,000 coins is crazy for him, right? He was 200k. And a lot of price crafts yesterday went low in the day on Monday. And then either stuff got like really low few hours before content or right at content and then it went up or it just kind of stayed down low where it is now so it created opportunities though where you could trade like this is one of the flips that i made yesterday i actually sold it a little bit too early but i bought a michael owen right here at 300,000 coins he actually started to go up a little bit i bought him like right in here and he went all the way back up to 340, 350. I sold him at 330,000 coins, but that is one of the things that you can do in this market right now. After all of this panic kind of happens, usually when you have a card that's really rare, it's out of packs or an icon or a hero. Those are the usual cards that we see this side of this sort of movement on. You see them just drop a ton. They get to a point where it's just kind of too low the panic selling gets a point where the uh, people on the market are like you know what that's too cheap it's probably time to buy and then you have a bit of a bounce back and that happened multiple times yesterday with a lot of different cards and that's kind of just how you can tell when a card is getting near to its low point and near to the bottom if you will um, especially with yesterday's content being quiet as it was that's kind of how mondays are in the game and you saw that happen with a decent number of cards i think now for a lot of cards in terms of price on this market we're in a in a scenario where we're near kind of like the new normal of our prices. We're near that kind of the low point has has happened and we had to panic. And some of these are already rebounding back. Like Griezmann's up 30, 40,000 coins. The Young is back up. Trent yesterday was like 310. He's now 325 and, and maybe pushing higher. Ronaldo's back over 1-4. So you have the market that's, especially on the out-of-packs cards and stuff like that, has started to rebound a little bit. Let's look at like uh, Hyunmin's son for a second because I think he was 170 at one point and now he's back up to 190. So you're seeing these sorts of cards had the crazy panic and they kind of rebounded back up. Still, though, I don't think they're going to rebound anywhere near to where they were. Sun's not going to go back to 250,000 coins. There's no shot, even though that's what he was two days ago. He's not going to be there again, right? The market is reset. It is down. And it's we're kind of in this new realm for prices. We're in that new range. And that's where I would expect prices to stay. But still, with the content is upcoming and some of the leaks that we're going to talk about today, I would still be a little bit careful with stuff. I would think if you're going to try to make coins stick to the rare out-of-packs, sort of cards and try not to mess too much with golds if you're going to buy somebody for your team i still think we're going to sell it before wednesday especially with the new season upcoming maybe some of the leaks we're going to talk about and then maybe we'll see a bit of a rise into the weekend um, but we'll just have to see after that how it goes so if you're looking to buy a team i think maybe some of the prices on out of packs cards yesterday were their lowest even depending on how high the market goes into wednesday trend at 310 315 he might not go any lower than that. We don't know, right? There's still a lot of unknowns with all of the moving pieces heading forward to this week. But the market seems to be in a new low point, and it's kind of seemed to chilled out a little bit. That's kind of the, the main point I think I want you guys to hear from this is it feels like the market's chilled out from the big panic over the weekend. We're in those new low prices, and we're kind of in the new normal, if you will. Now, I'm talking about leaks. Let's get to the leaks, guys, because yesterday it wasn't looking like a crazy day for leaks, and then all of a sudden... It just kind of happened that the leaks started popping and a lot of the leaks especially for what i want to talk about now revolve around the season track as you can see on the left side of the screen we are counting down to thursday at rivals rewards when season one total rush will end and we will have a new season in coming and the first leak i want to talk about related to this is foot sheriff's post about Talvin. Talvin is coming as a world tour player soon he says season two question mark obviously this is a french Serie A card, which fits in a lot of our teams very easy at the moment. Kind of a FIFA legend, this uh, Talvan card. Last year, he had an FC Pro card, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, that was pretty solid as well. But the reason that this makes us think of the season is, well, Adama Triore was a card that was in the season as a World Tour item. Of course, if you remember, we had all the Spanish cards, right? Like the Robert Sanchez objective and stuff like that. And EA said, we're going back to those early game launch update pitch notes, right? The World Tour, which was starting in Spain, they said that each season they were going to bring a range of nation or league themed content to help you bring, build your world tour squad. So we're thinking that it's going to be a season two based around France. It also could be season two based around the Serie A, but I'm going to guess France. I'm going to guess they're going to go with the nation. 
And that actually might be insane. Perfect timing if you have like, you know, the Tarambros that a lot of people have been using. France links have been popular already or the Sissoko that was just released. A lot more French cards would be, you would think, released. Think about the Alex Garcia that we had, right? The Robert Sanchez that was the objective, the Parejo that was the objective. We've been having these world tour cards uh, released very commonly throughout the whole season. And if they're going to go with France, there's going to be a lot of French cards released. Now, is there an opportunity here to invest in some French cards? Potentially, maybe some icons, maybe some heroes, just cards that people might be linking into teams. But the risk with that is, let's say you invest in a French left mid Pires because you're like, oh, they're going to be releasing a lot of French cards. People are going to be building teams and they need chemistry off the start. Well, if you do that, what if EA releases a French left mid um, as another player in the season? And then you're like, well... That sucks. My card's going to go down type of thing. So I'm not going to go out and invest in the French players, but just kind of make it known that there might be some more French squad building opportunities coming up in the near future. And that might make other French cards rise in certain positions that aren't being covered by new cards that are released. That's something to kind of think about there. Now, the second leak regarding the season pass was from ASY yesterday. And this card design, when it was originally leaked before, people said it was Ultimate Dynasties. There was an Ultimate Dynasties icon design, which is the Pele you see there in the middle. And then also there was the regular card design and then an Evo card design as well. This is not Ultimate Dynasties, guys. It is Centurions. And if you remember, two years ago in FIFA 23, remember the Centurions Latan Ibrahimovic? There was a Centurion Salah as well. And then we had the infamous Centurion. Um, oh, who was it? There was another really insane card too that was released that time that was via SBC. I forget who it was now. Oh, there was a Kempembe too. But this is a promo that we think would be coming in the next couple of weeks because he allegedly says here that the season pass could include some of these because that card design was added. It seems like EA was preparing the season pass stuff in the code or in the game files or whatever it was. If we have this leak about world tour cards and then this leak about Centurions, that is not the next promo, by the way. We're going to have a second week of the current Trailblazers promo, so there's going to be more of those cards coming this Friday. But that is just something to look forward to as we may be seeing Maybe, I mean, I'm not going to get my hopes up too high, but maybe a Centurions player. But imagine a Centurions icon being available in the season pass in season two. Maybe a little bit too early for that. Who knows? But we also could be nearing our first promo icons of the year, probably at least two weeks away, but it's not that far away, guys. So that's one thing I wanted to mention because it looks like these are going to be integrated in the season pass as well. One small note on the season pass. I tweeted this out yesterday too. I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but... I honestly think, guys, that we're getting to a point where, you know, EA mentioned the paid season pass, right? That is still a reality, even though it didn't happen in the first season. If any of you guys played Madden, which I have not this year, but other people yesterday were telling me below that tweet and in the stream and in the comments that Madden had the first two seasons of Madden 25 did not have a paid option for the season pass. And then in season three of Madden, they added a paid tier of the season pass rewards and the rewards were insane. They were very worth it and very worth getting above the normal season pass. So I'm not saying it's going to happen this week, but I just want to get you guys prepared for that because there's going to be a lot of conversation. You know, if they do that as well, this is something we're going to be talking about and looking to see how it impacts the market. If they put a paid season pass out that is coins or FC points, it is going to hurt the market if the rewards are good. And you know how EA do things, right? They're going to make the paid option for the rewards definitely, I mean, at least make you think about it and a step above the free version that would be there. So that could hurt the market on a Thursday. This Thursday, maybe, or it could be the next season. We'll have to see. But that's something that we need to be kind of thinking about and preparing for even maybe saving a few coins for that. If the leaks start coming out about a new season, they would include a paid aspect to it. Now, let's talk about the last couple of leaks that are really related to SBCs. It's enough talk about the seasons, right? Well, we're, we're wondering, what SBC are we getting this Wednesday, right? The hero pack is going to go away. The icon pack refreshes on Thursday. Are we getting another gamble sort of upgrade pack on a Wednesday? Well, enter this the party bag sbc the first party bag of the year is set to come allegedly it contains one player from road to the knockouts and one player from total rush which if you take a look at either of those promo teams you got a lot of fodder in there for sure i don't think this sbc would be very expensive but ea would at least put a little bit of a price on it because you got messi you got neymar puteas you know verts you go team one of total rush you got ronaldo Mbappe, Griezmann, De Bruyne. There's some good cards in this. Same thing with Road to the Knockouts. You've got Havertz, Dybala, Garnacho, VVD, 
uh, of course, from team number two. And then in team one, you've got some crazy cards like Alvarez, Doku, and Jude. So you got plenty of cards in here that everybody would want to chase. But, you know, more often, we're going to be packing these guys down here like Andre and Vandebeek and Posh. But Gamble SBCs. We love them, but they're annoying at the same time. But EA love to release them because they know that it drains coins off the game, and it also is an opportunity to invest in fodder. The question is, though, with all the leaks of the season pass that were happening yesterday, is this going to be a part of the season pass, or will it be an SBC? My guess is SBC coming this Wednesday. We'll have to see. We'll maybe get some more leaks, maybe some pack code officially added to the game. But that's something to watch out for. And another reason, if you have a lower rated fodder, to maybe 84s and 85s and 86s, to maybe hold on to that until we get into Wednesday. Because that would be an SBC that would absolutely make 84 rateds rise up in price. I mean, sure, I know right now they're already above 3,000 coins. They're just going crazy. 3,200 right here for Coman. They might be like almost 4,000 coins by the end of the week. Obviously, right now, if you have 84s, 85s, 86s, and you're not wanting to sell them just yet, lazy listing them like 1,000 coins above where they're selling on the market is a good way to do that. But this would be an SBC we'll talk about later on in the week for sure if that is going to be released because that one will be hyped, but it's probably going to have really, really terrible pack weight. So we'll be watching for more information on that. And then the biggest leak, in my opinion, for a player SBC that we have right now is Robbie keen guys we finally have a hero on this day leak we were looking at this car design and wondering when we were going to see it um, again this is like a flashback we think uh, for a hero or for an icon there's both those designs in the code but this sbc is set to be coming soon this one has huge potential guys who remembers robbie keen's sbc in fifa 23 it was mad expensive but this card was crazy. I don't even think I ended up doing it because it was mad expensive. But so many people did it, and he was a crazy, crazy card. Premier League links, he had an insane boost. But the question is, with this on this day hero, since we think it's going to be like a flashback, how are the stats going to be? I think this prediction here from FIFA Romania might be pretty close because if you think about a flashback card design on a normal item like David Alaba, they gave him a little bit, a lot of a pace boost. They gave him a passing boost, a dribbling boost, and a shooting boost. But he actually has less defense and physical than his gold card does. Remember, like flashback Neymar back in the day that had more pace, but he had less. I think it was less shooting and less passing, but he had higher pace and higher dribbling than his gold card did. Right? It's kind of like a flashback to an earlier stage in their career. So the question is, will they do that sort of thing with Robbie Keane? How much stats are they going to give him? How much they're going to take away for a card like this? They really just need to change the play style plus. Give the man finesse. Give him technical. I think he has technical finesse and rapid. Is that correct? He's got finesse, technical, trivella. If they would give any of those as a play style plus and maybe add a couple others in there to spice up the card, this could be a really, really good SBC. It's also going to be so interesting to see depending on how much EA juiced this up, how much it's priced. If it's seen as a good SBC, though, this is what I want to get you guys ready for. If this is seen as a really good SBC, strikers across the game would get hurt big time in value, especially like a couple hundred thousand coin card strikers, like this Luis Hernandez, the Michael Owen that I showed earlier. Maybe even some of the reason that these cards were down as much as they were yesterday was because of this Robbie Keane leak. A Premier League striker with links like this, if it's a good card, could go crazy. And it's, again, a reason why fodder could be in demand. But the thing is, we have no idea when that SBC will be coming out. So we'll be waiting for more leaks on that. That seems like a, a Friday type of big player SBC, at least to me. That doesn't seem like a type of SBC that would drop on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. So we'll see if EA surprises us on anything with that. But that leak is outstanding. <clears throat> and it is there, and we have to keep an eye on it. Again, watch out for Prem Strikers. They could drop if that SBC is pretty good. Now, let's talk about Tuesday content in general today. We've been yapping long enough. Let's close it up, guys. Today, Tuesday, what to expect? The rush objective should refresh. So if you want to chase even a few more packs, this should refresh today. And if you're going to play rush, I would definitely recommend playing the limited time mode. I haven't played it. Actually, no, it's false. I played one game. But uh, there's still a day left in this, and I think there's extra XP in this, like there normally is, and you'll have a better chance of getting some stuff done. Maybe complete some Evos in that as well, which I believe you could do. A um, little bit of gameplay for Rush necessary there to get those objective packs done. Tuesdays is when those refresh. Now, also on Tuesdays, we normally get another upgrade pack. We had the 78 doubles yesterday. We had the 80 plus times 5 the past couple of weeks. We had the 83 times 2 one time. 
I don't know what SBC pack it's going to be, but I would expect something today. Again, another reason for 84s and 5s to maybe go up a little bit. We need those a lot right now in all these different SBCs. That's why they're flying. So that's something to watch out for. A simple upgrade pack coming today. And then we do have another player SBC leak with Lukiba. And with how Trailblazers look, this could be an interesting SBC. My real comparison here for him is, is he going to be better on the same level or worse than the... Ibanez SBC that we had, right? You guys remember this one we had last Thursday. It was a decent upgrade on the shooting, passing, and dribbling, but not that crazy. And the price was just okay, right? Six squads, kind of annoying to get it done. We have this Lukiba SBC, French Lynx, Bundesliga Lynx as well. If you take a look around the market, some of the Bundesliga cards are already going up. In the panic yesterday, I made it a point to pick up two Lizarazus. Left backs have been down like crazy, right? I picked up two of him though, because he would be like a perfect link. Or, no, it'd be a perfect link, actually, uh, because of the hero chemistry. So I picked up two of this card at 250,000 coins. It's like 280, 270 right now, so it's up a little bit. If we get leaks that this Lukiba is going to be coming today, which it could, because last week we had Crystal Dunn, I think, and we had uh, we had two player SBCs last Tuesday. It could be coming today. It also may be later in the week. That's something to kind of watch out for, though, with the French links being so hyped. If this SBC looks decent, it could actually make some other center backs in that like less than 200,000 coin range on the market go down a little bit. So I'd be a little careful with center backs right now. We'll have to see what that SBC looks like and how hype it is. But until then, I think I think it's safe to be trading on the market. Just try to focus rarer cards. And there's going to be fluctuations up and down. But again, with the leaks that are outstanding with that party bag SBC, I don't think a party bag SBC necessarily crashes the market, guys. I really don't. But I do think that if there is a pay season upcoming, that's really going to mess with the market on Thursday, depending on how much it is. So we'll have to see if we get any more leaks. I would assume that these guys are getting these leaks based off of pack code. And there's probably going to be some pack code added and tweeted out. There's going to be more hype and stuff around this coming soon. So it's going to be a big week of information. And of course, there's still other SBCs like Player of the Month still on the horizon as well. So it's a good time to be careful with your coins at the moment if you don't feel super confident about anything on the market. And even now, like I've listed these Gerards for 550 and they haven't sold over the hour. I'm getting a little antsy, man. I want to get my coins out, get the coins moving and flowing so that we can get these flips and get the coins built up, but not risk it too much at the exact same time. So that's going to be a, uh, the video from me today. If you guys did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Check out the second channel if you want to see our cup grind yesterday and our progress towards the Icon SBC, which we will be completing today on stream. So that link's down below in the description as well. But I'll see you guys on a stream today. It's been Nathan with Account. See you guys there. Peace out.